Back at the Venice Film Festival, a little small movie called Hitman premiered there. This is directed by Richard Linklater, written by him and Glenn Powell, and also stars Glenn Powell, who is literally one of those up-and-coming movie stars that anytime he's in something, I just have to watch because he's irresistibly charming. And I'm so happy to say that Hitman, a movie that... It feels like for months has just been hyped up to hyped up saying you have to see this movie. It's incredible. No matter what film festival it went to, everyone hyped it up, including a personal friend of the channel, Ren Geekness, who went to Venice and saw it at its premiere and said, Zach, this might be one of your favorite movies of the year. At this point, it's actually really hard for me to look at the rest of the movies coming out this year and go, yeah, I'd be pretty shocked if Hitman is not one of my favorites because the movie is just awesome. It's a dark romantic comedy that is not afraid to go to those thrilling aspects, but it's also like one of those perfect date night movies that you'll want to watch with your significant other. Watching this with my wife was an absolute experience, and the second it comes on streaming, I cannot wait to jump in and dive back into this movie multiple times over. It's that fun, and again, it lived up to the hype and the expectations, but I'll be honest, the second this movie started, I didn't know if it was going to actually live up to those. It starts a little slow, we'll talk about that when we get to my issues, but overall, definitely mark your calendars, Hitman will hit select theaters later this week, so definitely look and see if it's playing near you, if not, it comes to Netflix June 7th, but maybe you don't know what Hitman is, and I will say that. I think a lot of people reading the name, seeing Glenn Powell, maybe not even going to watch the trailer. I was one of those people. I didn't see a single trailer for this. I just knew it had a romantic comedy edge to it. I didn't expect for it to get as dark as it did. But this is, again, one of those movies that surprised me at every avenue. And I not watching a single trailer for this, not really knowing anything, but just seeing like glimpses of the posters. I could only guess what the film was about. But I actually think layering out your expectations of what this film is, you probably should understand. This isn't a straight action film. In fact, there's really no action whatsoever. This is about a professor who is disguising himself as a hitman of sorts for his city police department. And this ends up descending into a dangerous and dubious territory when he finds himself attracted and maybe even falling in love to a woman who enlists in his services. So yes, you basically have a professor who heavily reminds me of Robin Williams from Dead Poets Society pretending to be all these different hitmen in all these different disguises. And it definitely goes to certain layers. And there's so many different things I want to talk about this movie. I definitely want to stay into the most vague aspect of it, though, because I think the less you know about the film, the better. So I'll keep it at that within the story lights. But I will say, if you are new here, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button, as well as make sure to leave your thoughts down below. Are you excited for Hitman? Are you not? What's your favorite Richard Linklater film? I've been a massive fan of his ever since Days and Confused. When my dad showed me that at a very young age, I fell in love with it. And I fell in love with his directing style. Not all of his films work for me, but Hitman is and maybe one of his best films of his entire filmography. To really start out with the pros, the number one thing I want to talk about is how amazing Glenn Powell is in this movie. I truly think that this is his stardom, his star in the making. His He is absolutely incredible in this, and I think he just rocks it out of the park in every single avenue. Because yes, he basically has to play two different characters in this entire film again he's playing a dead poet society professor as well as this hitman of sorts and while this hitman has different disguises it is a blast to see glenn powell take on all these different personalities my wife said it best she said it very much reminds her of what james mcavoy did with split even though he was flipping at a bat like this it was fun to see glenn powell do different performances and it shows how versatile of an actor he very much is throughout this all at one point you feel like he's riffing off and becoming how robin williams was as dead poet society professor and then at other times you think he's basically matthew mcconaughey as a hitman all in his own same style and tone and I just love that. And then we also have Audria Arjun, who plays the love interest to him. Again, fucking stunning, breathtaking, and a breakout performance that the last time I saw her was in Morbius. Not the breakout performance we wanted from her. She was decent in it. But in this, she is incredible. But personally, this film lights up because of these 
two. No, I'm talking about my pros, but I do just have to mention the one issue I have with this, and that is I found the film to be a little bit slow at the start. It takes about 20 to 30 minutes for the film to actually get going, and at times as it's riffing off and showing him put these people in prison in these different disguises, it went on a little bit too long. Second, Adria shows up in this, and again, I might be mispronouncing her name, so I do, I do apologize on that, but the second she shows up in this, and they're conversing, and they're having this conversation. From the first conversation to the very last, their chemistry is ignited like a fuse. And the whole film feels like this fuse box that's just constantly going. And you're waiting for the bomb to go off. For so many different things to get revealed to different characters. And I absolutely loved how the relationship played out in here. I love the chemistry between them both, and I truly will go as far to say I think it's some of the best chemistry I've seen in a film in months. Like, I know Challengers came out, but shit, this even might be better than that. And that's saying a lot because I love Challengers and the chemistry in there was on fire. But this one felt to such a different degree since there was so much mystery surrounding two different characters, two different personas, and again, so many different story aspects that you're just waiting to kick off. I believe in every conversation that they're having with one another and I just... You fall in love with them along for the ride. Truly really enough, this is Glenn and Adria's film from top to bottom. Without them, this film does not work. If their chemistry isn't together, then you don't believe in the believability of this somewhat true story, which I loved how they really much based this off of it. And with all that said, it also goes down to Richard Linklater's directing and Glenn and Richard's writing. The script for this is top notch. Again, my only issue with the film is just the first 30 minutes and the pacing of it. But really enough, it wins your heart over. Every act just gets better than the last. And I was happy to see because a lot of romantic comedies don't tend to go into the dark path that it actually needs to. And while this film was always humorous and fun and felt real, like never, none of it ever felt like fabricated to any sort of degree. It actually felt very believable, even with such a goofy concept it has. And I love that. That like even again going back to their chemistry, the way that it really plays out and what Richard was able to capture on screen is just two people again. There, there's this argument that ensues between them, and there's something he's showing on their on his phone the whole time, and the entire way of that scene is a little goofy, very dark, but also you're like all here for it and you can believe in every single degree of that argument. And every little thing in this film plays off into that romance and I could have watched another 20 minutes of just them. And I think maybe that's why my pacing issue was the big problem is because it takes that long to get her into the story and the second she's in, you just wish you had more time with her with them specifically. But Richard Linklater is a master at that. He's a master at building romance in a film, building relationships in a film, but also setting the tone in such a magnificent way to where every single one of his stories always feels like you are a fly on the wall watching the situation, or again, going along for the vibe, and I felt that so incredibly well within Hitman. I think is why I'm here to say that I think Richard Linklater's Hitman might possibly be the must-see romantic dark comedy of the decade also love to see that it is a dark comedy not just a romantic comedy but this movie has been hyped for months and it met all those expectations glenn powell's best performance yet and adria arjona is a breakout breath of fresh air their chemistry was everything i had a blast with this movie i cannot wait to rewatch this one and i definitely can't wait to hear your guys' thoughts seriously believe the hype go check it out in theaters if you can if not it will be coming to netflix june 7th so with all that said i'm gonna give hitman an a Thank you so much again guys for watching this make sure to hit that like subscribe button comment down below your guys thoughts and of course until next time stay classy